Hello everyone, this is Varun here. I am going to guide you how to set up the rain theme. We have a current uh, setup using the TSWP. It's a fresh WordPress installation. I am going to upload the rain theme first time. After the rain theme installation, it will suggest you to install a couple of plugins. Uh, like Elementor, Classic Z, Demo Installer, and Webcom Essential. Webcom Essential is uh, specifically a bundle of couple of Elementor wizards. It is a optional plugin. If you do not want to use it, you can keep it deactivated. Okay, the first setup uh, we are going to configure using the BuddyPress plugin. So I'm going to activate the BuddyPress. Inside the body press, uh, I'm going to activate all the components we have available. Once the body press is installed, the um, theme also suggests uh, to in house plugins, activity share, and uh, body press reaction. These help to share the activities uh, to the other member and within the group. And second one is it also enables the functionality so you can also react um, on the body press activities along with on the blog post um, so at present uh, we have a initial setup demo data is not imported yet uh, using bodypress classic wizard elementor activity share flow reactions and we can utilize our demo installer demo installer is suggested to use on the fresh uh, wordpress installer only because it is going to replace the data and it also import the data with uh, some dummy content for the body press that uh, step is not mandatory i can explain that on a second video how to configure the rain theme demo just uh, doing every step manually without using the demo installer this current uh, installation uh, is going to utilize the demo installer i'm going for the theme installation and going to pick up the options like right now we are going to install a demo using um, demo installer these three plugins are already active i have to activate the bb press body press doesn't have a dedicated support for the media element they have recently launched a new plugin attachment uh, we can utilize that one uh, our current demo setup is using the rt media plugin we are going to use it Okay, inside the demo installer again, import. So we have all the required plugin activated. Uh, WooCommerce is optional, so if you want to use it, we can also install it. Plugin install. Right install. Now I'm going proceeding to the theme installer again. Import. So these are the plugins are active now. Go to the demo installation. Install the demo. And it will fetch the data from our demo setup. And uh, will configure all the data theme configuration wizard. And along with the customizer options, everything on the site. So that will be a good starting point uh, in terms of usability. So you do not have to check everything. You have a pre-configured setup. So it will be much easier for you to replace or change those configuration yourself for your doing your own branding. Again, uh, this demo installer step is uh, suggested for the uh, fresh installation only, not for the existing WordPress installation because it will wipe your data and uh, inst in, uh, inject all the content from our demo site to this site. We are using this approach. Uh, there are two reasons behind that one. First, WordPress um, need user data to get included. Second, only XML file are not enough to 
adjust the WordPress pages to the page mapping to the WooCommerce setting like that. XML file are only useful in case when you have to import post, import product, but not in this case. Okay. Now the demo data is already configured. Uh, we can uh, check the website now. Okay. Now you can see that the website is up and running with the demo content. We have news feed page, groups page, members data is already populated. Okay. Group content is already populated for the shop page. We already have imported couple of product i think products are not part of the demo content okay so for the bloggers blogs we are going to check um, do we have any blog posting yeah we have blog posting setting reading news feed page blog page save we can update our permanent structure just to flush one time so blocks are also coming fine now for the WooCommerce product let me check we have products or not a product going to the shop page now it is displaying the products okay so on the theme point of view we have functionality more specific to community so you can go and check your profile how it looks like so we have navigations like profile notification messages friends group forums and media items you can post your activities from the news feed or from your individual profile and um, for the group's point of view individual group page will look like this one Okay. To flush out these uh, demo content, you can delete all these groups or all the demo data is created using BP default uh, plugin. So you can install that plugin uh, to deactivate all the demo content what we have added here. Okay, for share and uh, reaction plugins, what this is, which is bundled inside the theme, how it works. For the save plugin, um, it suppose that someone has posted an update. You are getting an option to share that update inside your join group okay and um, you can share it to any of your friend or any of those groups to which you have joined and that will display something like this one okay like you have shared the post and uh, that particular person will also uh, be notified that your post has been reshared there is a share count on this one like one share we have a reaction functionality like uh, you can also use reactions like Facebook and uh, if you have any confusion like why we have a like or the reaction then from the backend setting you can dis disable the like functionality and you can keep using the reaction functionality. So for the my reaction inside the body press setting we have an option to enable like um, user notification on reaction, mark disable, mark as a favorite and uh, tag activity. So in that way, uh, you will have only the React functionality. Like functionality will be completely disabled. React, comment, and share. And um, for the forum point of view, we have also added the support for the reactions inside the forums. So if anyone has already created a couple of forums, uh, let me go inside the forums. All forums. Right now, there is no forums created. create one okay, and uh, we can associate these topic to this uh, individual forum edit and uh, forum is select actually the topic uh, is the part of the forum when the a topic is created and that is not a part of the forum it doesn't display so on the forum point of someone has created a topic they can also put a user reaction on that one sample reply and if someone is uh, posting a reaction or uh, reply to a particular topic this one and that can also have a reaction functionality like this one okay for a member point of view when you are going to view any different member profile you can like their react on their activities 
add some comment, reshare their activities. And uh, next is the customizer option. We are going to cover the customizer option in the next update. So the first uh, video was more specific to how to install the theme, how to install the required plugins, plus uh, how to use the demo importer to set up your theme, just like our demos. Uh, for the demo installation, if you have any questions, contact us. Thank you.